Hello lovely people. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all doing fine. Right, today I'm going to do a video uh, with a tag, Start Small Tag 2021. Um, I got this tag, actually I watched uh, Chelsea's video and I got this tag from Chelsea actually, uh, which, is, which was actually started by Jojoza Hana. Okay, she started this uh, tag. Right. So uh, this text starts with the question, uh, what does intimidating mean to you in your creative ways, in your creative hobbies? Right, what, um, okay, let's start. I take these uh, books out of the way first. So come back to that later. Now, um, I have been uh, coloring for quite some time now. Um, but I have always avoided colouring in pictures um, with uh, faces, okay, faces like this. Um, so that is what intimidates me because of uh, the skin tone. It's very difficult to get smooth skin tone with makeup, uh, you know, the, the, the shadowing of uh, the faces, see, so things like that. Uh, it's not really intimidating. It's something that I don't uh, fancy doing, so I just leave it out. Okay, mm, so that's that's it. Things like this. Uh, I have actually got this book in 20, 2016, I believe. So a long time ago when it first came out, and I've got actually two copies. I've got the first set, the Day Dreamers, the the Day Dreamers. I think the green one. Okay, that one I did a few uh, pages, and uh, I have actually have the, I actually have the postcard as well, which I've done. But when it comes to pictures with uh, faces like this, uh, I stay away. Okay, so yeah. Right, a question number two: What is one of the most detailed pages that you can't wait to start? color right um, I would say this page from circle of life you see it's so detailed there's so many things to color the seaweed and eh, everything the seaweed, the corals, the fish, tiny, tiny fishes, okay, all this, all this part, the corals. And um, so this is the most detailed page that I've seen so far that I have yet to color. I've just got this book anyway, just this one. Okay, so um, this is the page that is the most detailed page that I would or want to start coloring. It's interesting though, I've seen uh, coloring with K doing, uh, you know, this part, um, this uh, jellyfish part with the glitter paint. And uh, I have uh, actually started using, you know, glitter, watercolor glitter gel pen. Uh, when I started watching coloring with K, she likes to use glitter and embellishments and also uh, coloring the coloring kit, uh, Imogen, right? So that's when I started to add embellishments all over the page. So this page, it's very beautiful. Uh, I've done, I've got a beep in here. Where's it? Yeah, I've just got this book. Uh, it's not done yet. So this one will be in my, uh, what to color in September pages. Continue that. And it's a jellyfish as well. So that's it. Mm. Next question. Uh, what is your favorite small size book? That's easy. This one. Okay. By Rita Berman. And not only this one. 
all of her books okay i would have loved to color all of her books it's small and um the pictures are all whimsical and i've actually colored a lot in this book i've got i've gotten uh these books only what this month okay so and i'm i can't wait to get her newest uh edition it's on the way it's flying it's uh, winging its way to me so yeah so i've actually colored quite a lot of pages in this book it's small it's cute it's whimsical what more can i say okay and uh, you just uh in and in this page i let uh my imagination go wild i use a lot of um, glitter paint okay as i've said i've uh, started using uh, glitter and embellishments after watching coloring with k and um see uh and um coloring kid emojin so i've done a few pages in fact beep beep quite a lot of beeps in here so yeah i'm looking forward to her newest uh, book okay the europa book it's coming it's coming that will be in my september what i'm what am i going to color in september what's in my coloring um bag in september okay so the next question oh i missed question number three uh, what is the most detailed and in or intimidating page that you have probably that you have that you probably will never do and why yeah so um i think this is the page again i will go back to this um, page this one so this page uh, has a lot of skin to color in and um, I really do not uh, fancy coloring um, skin okay and makeup all right so and the detailed pages the detailed parts all this what am I going to do and it's uh, yeah I know it's a uh, whimsical it's fancy whatever skin color you can color in um, but it's just not my cup of tea and i don't think i will be ever ever i mean i would say never but uh till i run out of things to color i don't think i will be coloring <laughs> things like that okay so question number five that's the last question actually uh what is your favorite uh, completed page that was really detailed or intimidated by you um, I would say it's not really detailed what more can I say I have not uh, bought uh, detailed pages other I mean before this uh, circle of life okay circle of life is the most detailed uh, book that I've uh, pages that I've ever bought okay and it was just re a recent purchase so this one i would say this page i love this page well it's intimidating first like this this one these two pages okay um there's so much things to color everything it's all very detailed so small uh, and every the, the whole page is full full with things to color so it's not really uh, intimidating it's detailed and uh, what uh, Johanna did uh, was uh, is really amazing. Okay, I love her books. So actually, this was one of the first pages that I've done, <clears throat> and I got. <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> this book, okay, Worlds of Wonder, I started coloring it in. So this is the uh, most, uh, I would say, detailed page. Not really intimidating, but detailed page. okay so i think that's the end of the video it's a short one okay so uh take care and happy coloring people thank you bye bye